Unemployed? If so, are you a member of your local branch of the National Unemployed Workers' Movement? Its primary demand is for work or full maintenance at trade union rate of wages. Support the Great National Hunger March on London. A worker sing a rebel song, a song of love and hate. Of love unto the lowly and hatred to the great. A great who draw our fathers down to steal our children's bread. To sign the face, to raise the the and the dead. They sing a rebel song as we proudly sweep the land. 100,000 men are going to march on Downing Street, which they intend to take by storm. There are thousands of mounted police and tens of thousands of foot police ready to deal with the insurgents. Machine guns have been mounted on certain buildings in readiness to sweep the streets. Why all this unrest? What ails the workers? It seems that in the rebound from the anxieties of the war, we're all trying to get something for nothing. Too much selfishness exists. We must not ask for the impossible. A march is near at dawn, it is setting off the sun, and the tyrant's might is passing with the passing of the years. Ramsay MacDonald, first Labour Prime Minister, elected 1924. We shall concentrate, not first of all on the relief of unemployment, but on the restoration of trade. We are not going to diminish industrial capital in order to provide relief. That is the old sound socialist doctrine. Stanley Baldwin, Conservative Prime Minister, 1925. All the workers of this country have got to take reductions in wages to help put industry on its feet. I am convinced that if the time should come when the community had to protect itself, with the full strength of the government behind it, the community will do so. I say it merely as a warning. The general strike is a direct challenge to ordered government. There can be no question of a compromise of any kind. Either the country will break the general strike, or the general strike will break the country. The failure of the general strike shows what a sane people the British are. If only our revolutionaries would realise the hopelessness of their attempt to turn the British workman into a red Russian, 